Woo! Thank you, Screen Print Direct, for sending me these inks to try them out, especially that metallic gold I've been wanting to use. Thank you. Good looking out. Now, let's talk about what we're doing today. So today, yeah, we're going to talk about off contact. Why an off contact is so important when it comes to screen printing is going to give you the sharpness and crispiness on your prints. If you don't have no off contact, you're going to have a lot of issues with the print. So let's get started. All right. What is an off contact? An off contact is a, you want to have a gap between the mesh and the plant. Just like this. You see? Meaning you don't want the screen to be on top of the t-shirt. You want to avoid that. You want some little gap in between the, sh the, the screen and the t-shirt because when you pulling or pushing your screen, that screen was going to come down, clear that ink up, and automatically that mesh is just going to pop up and deposit the rest of the ink that's in the mesh. If you don't have enough contact and you do that, that ink is still in the mesh. So whenever you lift up your screen, that ink is not going to be sharp. It's not going to be crispy. It's going to even feel sandy because it's not going to leave you no smoothness. So that's the importance of having an off contact. Now we're going to talk about how to get a proper off contact and the little tricks that I know how to align your um, screen to the plant properly. Okay, for a proper distance of an off contact, when it comes to t-shirts, I use a 1 16th of an inch. What's a 1 16th of an inch? Is a quarter. Get a quarter as your guideline to make sure that you got that 1 16th of an inch. When it comes to hoodies, it's, a, it's not 1 16th of an inch. The best thing to do is cut a box from the gilding, get a nice little square box, put it on the top, bring down your screen, and then give that off contact based on that size of, the, of that cardboard. It will give you four hoodies. But when it comes to t-shirts, 1 16th of an inch, that's what you're gonna need is quarters. I'm gonna show you right now how to place them and how to um, get that off contact properly. So what you do, you get your four quarters, and then you're gonna place them in the corner like that. So now I'm gonna lower the screen, and I'm gonna feel the quarter. It's not on top. So what I have to do now is level it to make sure that it's the proper off contact. So if you have a press with a off contact dialing knob, like this here. That's why I love this Anatole Thunder because it has this where you could dial it up and get that off contact very quick. Uh, if you don't have that, then you're gonna have what I had before with the Riley Hopkins Jr. where there was no off contact knob. What I had to do was loosen the screws from the back of the um, rear clamp and then adjust goes up and down, take it from behind, up and down, and you'll be able to do that same adjustments. It's not gonna be as quick as just dialing this knob here, but that's one thing about the Anatole Thunder that I love, that it has the off contact dialing knob and the rear just to bring it down or up, because this one I'm gonna show you right now what it does. So this dialing knob here is what's gonna bring the screen up, you see? How it's moving up from here is coming up and then go back down and it will start coming down and that's when you're going to start feeling when it's touching the quarter it's touching the quarter you got it good then you come to the rear back this is going to be the keeping the screen up or down and this is going to help you that off contact to lower down you take the knob lock it now I just finished dialing it up. You could touch, you could feel the quarter. It's right on top of the quarter. And that's what you're looking for. Now let's see it through the side. So now I'm gonna take the quarters out, bring back down the screen, and there it is. That lets you know that's an off contact. You see? What you don't want is that. That's laying on top of the pallet. You want that nice little gap 
right there. So when you pass your screen, pops back up, pops back up. That's a perfect off contact. So now you know how to get a perfect off contact when it comes to shirts. Believe me, it's gonna make a big difference. You're gonna have some nice, sharp, crispy prints. It's all about the off contact. But you know me, I could have just ended this video right now, done, pretty good, but I'm going all out. Right now, I'm gonna turn on my conveyor dryer, turn on the flasher, go get a black t-shirt, and we're gonna print one print off contact and another print without the contact, and we're gonna use my micro lens, and we're gonna see the difference. Believe me, you are going to see your print. So, let's do this. Here we have the shirt. This is the front print. This is the off contact print. And on the back of the shirt is the with no um, off contact. We're gonna get the macro lens, so we're gonna look at the one with the off contact, and then the second one will be the one with the off contact, so you can see the difference. So that was the one with the off contact. Now, I'm gonna turn the shirt, and we're gonna see the one without using the off contact, and you are going to see the difference. You got to see the difference. Not only that it looks a little not sharp, like a little blurry, I think by not having that off contact, the mesh kind of moved and it gave me like for the second pass, it was not exactly on it. But not only that, the roughness of without using no off contact, the one with the off contact, it was so smooth. That's what you're looking for. Smooth, sharp, and crispy prints. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be thankful always, be grateful always, and just let God take you on the ride. Peace out.